Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today is just going to be a quick video, well quick for you hopefully, probably long for me. I'm going to be doing some upgrades to these tanks here. These tanks are in my office, we've made videos about them a few times before, but I'm actually really happy with them. Um, the plants are doing really well, they're growing in nicely, they've not got too much algae, the fish are really healthy, they're really active. Uh, when I'm at work I can just spin round in my chair and I've got an instant bit of relief from the day-to-day the -day grind. I can sit and watch these for ages basically. But there's one thing that's not quite right and you might be able to see that. It's been mentioned in a few videos and I've even done some videos in the past trying to address it. They've not got a background. They've got there's nothing in the back. It's clear and it causes a little bit of a... Well, it doesn't cause a problem at all actually. Um, it might be slightly unsightly in that you can see some of the wires and the cables that run behind the tanks and it just doesn't look as good when they've got um, a clear background like that. So in the past you'll have seen my rubbish DIY background idea. Uh, quite literally rubbish, it's a bin bag. I um, folded that up, applied a bit of water, stuck it to the back of the tank. And that did really well actually. Um, it made it look really good, but after time it just starts to sag and you get bubbles and it's not very good. Um, so this has been a bit of a talking point in a few videos. Every time I show these tanks people say, why don't you get X, Y or Z? So I finally succumbed and bought something and I've gone for something someone recommended me um, a few times. Um, so this is Fablon, it's a specific brand or make of kind of vinyl wrapping um, you use it for all kinds of DIY purposes but it's basically a black vinyl and it's self-adhesive, it's got a peelable background and you can stick it on the tank and it should be good to go it's used for things like windows or for covering cupboard doors and refreshing things like that um, but it should work quite fine here. Before I started making this video, the one piece of advice I'll give you, if you're here because you've searched up how to put on a DIY background, do it before you fill the tank. These are extremely heavy when they're full of water and I'm a big strong burly man and I'm struggling to move them. So I'm going to do it the easy way, rather than drain them, turn them round, apply this, turn them back round and refill them, I'm going to struggle on like an idiot and try and apply this down the back from a funny angle and see how we got on. The basic premise is this comes in a big roll, so I think this cost me about seven pounds, eight pounds, something like that, uh, for either two or three meters, but there's various prices and various different types. I went for a gloss black. I actually meant to go for a matte black, but picked the wrong one. I was about to get all furious with Amazon, but no, it was my fault. But there on the back, it has like this little grid system so you can cut it in straight lines. Line it up, get it to the right size, cut it down to shape, and then you're good to go. The proper way to do this, so I'm told, is you get your squishy bottle. So if you imagine this is the back of the tank, you get your squishy bottle, you wet it all down. You then take it with the non-sticky side down, you roll it out, that then sticks it to the tank. You peel off the backing paper, which is what this white stuff, as it's stuck down, spray it again, and then literally flip it round, stick it on, and then move it into position. And then you take a squeegee and you squeeze all the water out. So I'm going to try and replicate that as best I can by doing all this on the reverse. Um, I'll just take the backing paper off, spray the back of the tank as best I can, and then squeegee it into position. Or that's the idea anyway, so let's see how we get on. Need to cut it to size first. So I've moved it as best I can away from the wall. Um, it's not brilliant, um, but this was literally as far as I could manhandle it out of the way. So the idea is you give this as good a clean as you can, because this is the surface you want to apply it to. So we'll do that first, and then you come in and start trying to apply it. So where's that cloth? So I'm going to use this stuff to clean it. That's the ATM Mirage. It's basically a, a safe non-solvent cleaner, nice clean cloth, let's give it a good wipe like that, get all the dust and any particles off of that completely, otherwise you're going to have bubbles and spots and pox and things. Um, give it a wipe down with a, a clean paper towel and let that dry. Right, so that's it, clean and dry. I think what we do now is give it a nice even spray. You just want to get it what? What? 
I just want to get it wet, it doesn't need to be soaked basically. And this is just so you can position it afterwards. Uh, I've got the vinyl here, I kind of unwrapped it and rolled it the other way just so it was a bit easier to work with, it wasn't constantly folding back in on itself. But what I'm going to do is basically going to go in like this and just start with one strip like this, get that attached and then peel it away as we go. Or that's the plan at least. I'm not sure how sticky this is actually going to be once I get it on there, so that's why it's a bit of an unknown. You can either see me completely humiliate myself and fail utterly, or we'll see if it works. So it's not all that sticky, but it's definitely sticky. So I'm just going to peel away a little bit to get myself started and see if we can attach that. Get it roughly to the right area and then just give it some. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So the theory is that this is then movable, but it doesn't appear to be particularly movable. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's not movable at all. However, I pretty much got it spot on the first time. Ah, it is movable. Just this side that isn't for some reason. So if the guides are anything to go by, if you need it to move more than it is moving, more water is the answer. So I'm just going to peel it away and get a little bit more water on there. Make it a bit more movable. Let's see how we got on with that. Oh, that's definitely better. So what I wanted to be able to do is to slide it into position. More like this sort of thing. A window squeegee that gets all your bubbles and air pockets out. And more importantly, the water. And then it's the removal of the water that actually makes it adhesive and stick. Bad at all, actually. That looks pretty good. So let's see if I can get this shifted background and we can have a look at it properly. That was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. That took maybe two minutes. Um, moving the tank back round again and manhandling it scuffed up the water a little bit, so it's not quite as clear as it was. It does look a hell of a lot better with the black background, don't you think? So that was probably about two or three pounds worth of vinyl material. 15 minutes total to measure it out, move it, apply the stuff. That's got to be a win-win, surely. I don't know, what do you think? Right, I'll go on and I'll do this one and I'll come back and we'll do a before and after comparison and stick around to the end because I want you to tell me what you think is best. Um, you might have some future plans for this as well. Well, I lied to you. That was actually really easy to do. Um, I don't know why I thought that was going to be so difficult. Maybe it's because I'm not very handy or crafty, so I expected to be a complete disaster, but that was less than half an hour. Both tanks done, dusted. I think they look really good, but I don't know. I'll let you have a look at them. <laughs> 100% improved as far as I'm concerned, but let me know what you think in the comments. What I want to do as well is get your opinions on this tank. So this is the CPD tank, the Celestial Pearl Danio, and this tank is the White Cloud Mountain Minnows. Which one do you like best? I'm having a bit of a dilemma. I want to do a new aquascaping project, so I've got loads of bits of woods and some new plants and things like that. But I don't have any space, so I'm going to have to use one of these tanks. So. Maybe I'll be tearing one of these down. Which one do you think I should take down and use as my new project tank? 
or do you think I should just find a space and put a new tank in it? Anyway, I'll, let, I'll leave you with a few shots of these tanks. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. Let me know what you think I should tear down and let me know why I'm waving this around. Um, but thank you once again for watching. As always, you can click the subscribe button if this is the first time here and you like this kind of stuff. You can even join the channel if you want. And there's lots of links in the description. Check them out. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.